going to use music in this segment. I want you to be able to pop your own music on at home if you'd like the uh, motivation of music. I'm going to keep it away from this video because I think it's important that you hear the techniques and make sure that you get yours right as well. Okay, the first thing we're going to work on, I'll just turn slightly side on so you can have a look at posture and technique on me and follow it through, is to hold the kettle by the horns up the top and just let the kettle sit and we're going into a workout here whereby we're just going to go a small kick back and then a pulse through the pelvis. Okay, again, it's not the back, it's the pelvis. So here we go, pulse through, pulse through, little ones. So as you're pulsing your pelvis forward, your lower abs are really coming in. You'll notice my arms are not swinging high. Keep it going. Push it through, push it through. Try and keep up with me if you can. Four more, three, two. Now we're going into full swings. We're going into the American swing. Keep that body upright on this one. And nice and high in the arms. Let's do eight more. And seven. Nice and high. Six. Push that pelvis. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, obliques. Let the kettle sit in one arm. Elbow up and back in line with your shoulder, and down, up. Let that kettle travel, down and up. You will notice my pelvis is not moving. So what I'm not doing is pushing, okay? There's no bottom movement or hip movement at all. And my elbow is out to the side. So by that I mean it's not coming forward. Okay, out to the side. Two more. Last one, other side. Over. This is working your obliques. And you can tell by my voice it's working. Over. Oh yeah, 10 more. And nine. And eight. And seven. And we've got six more, and five, and four, three. We know the last two is coming up, and we're going into a lunge next. Okay, we're just going to lunge. I'll turn slightly side on so you can see. Okay, this is front on. Make sure you're up on the back toe. Knees are channeled forward. Okay, not out to the side. They're channeled forward. Okay, we're going to lean on the front leg. Let me turn on the side, up on the toe, leaning forward, and start the lawnmower, as I call it. Pull it up. Make sure your bottom's tucked under. You've got your stabilizers on. We're going to go eight more from here. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, my chest is forward. Three, not rotating and change sides. Oh yeah, up on the back toe and here we go. No rotation from the body whatsoever. Keep it strong and we've got eight more from now. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Back to a lunge, but this time instead of being forward, we're actually going to sit down into that lunge. Your ear is in line with your shoulder, in line with your hip, and we're dropping it down, okay? So what we're going to do here is keep the kettle in one hand, lunge, lift, lunge, lift. This takes a lot of balance. Push it up. Lunge and lift. And lift. Try two more. And last one. 
We're going to change sides. Oh yeah. Into that lunge. Get that alignment down. Here we go. Push it down and lift. And lift. So we're doing a single arm shoulder press. If you can't do the shoulder press, just go down and bring it up to your chest. Okay, entirely up to you. But if you feel stronger, take it all the way up. One more. Ooh, push it up. Great. Okay, centering your body, your pelvis around the world. So we go around, switch hands at the back and come forward. Switch hands at the back and switch hands forward. All right, going around. So know the direction you're going because we're going to change directions. Okay, there's no movement in my torso. Keep your body still. Get those core muscles locked in. Two more. Last one. And change. Round. It's a great workout. Let's go another six round the world. Six and five and four and three. And then we're going to alternate two and one. Okay, holding the kettle. We're going around the world, hold. Around the world, hold. Around and hold. 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 Oh, I love this one. One of my favorites. You can really feel the core and it's working so many of your back muscles. It's fantastic. Up. Oh, fingernail. <laughs> up. That's what you've got to be careful of. Around and up. Two more, one and two, fantastic. There's your workout. So what I recommend you do, you've done that through once, have a rest, regroup, and let's go again two or three more times. <laughs> 